Welcome. So today we're going to learn how to create a vertical video in Canva for free. Okay, let's jump over to Canva to get started. First thing we want to do is click on the button labeled video. Then we want to click on the button labeled mobile video. As soon as our template loads we can get to work. On the left side of our screen we'll click on videos. We're going to type in vertical video to refine our search. This will bring up all the vertical videos in Canva's library. We can scroll down until we find one that we like. This bonfire one looks interesting, and it's on the longer side at 41 seconds. We'll click on it to load it into our template. Now we can click and drag the corners of the video to fill the template area. Boy, that bonfire looks hot. Now let's head over to the left side again to click on the text button. I think this neon red lettering will blend well with the fiery video. So let's click to insert it. Now we can go over and resize our lettering and reposition it. Let's remove the text so we can add our own. We can add animation to the text by clicking on the animate button. This pops open the animations buttons on the left side of our screen. I like the typewriter animation so we'll click on it to activate it. Now we can click on the play button to check our work. Looks great. The animation shows up perfectly with the bonfire. The animation only plays in the first few seconds of the video. That leaves a little over 30 seconds of just bonfire in the rest of the video. Let me show you how we can fix that and make the rest of the video more interesting. I paused the video with the playhead right in the middle. If we right click on the playhead bar we can split the video there. Then we can move the playhead and split the timeline two more times. This will give us four sections of timeline to work with. After the last split is done we can go back to our first section. We'll click on the video and then click on the elements button on the left side. Then we'll type heart into the search box in the library. Let's pick a nice heart to add to our first section. We'll click to add this one. Let's resize the heart to fit and move it to a good position on the video. Perfect. Now let's click on the second section of the timeline. We can click on the text box and get to work changing the text. First let's get rid of the existing text. We can add in something fun and interesting. We're on a beach so how about soothing waves and crackling fire. Okay, so for the last two sections I'm going to speed up the video. We're doing basically the same things like we did in the first two sections. I just don't want to waste your time with repetitive tasks. Okay, so now that our editing is done we'll hit play to test our video. When it's done playing we'll go over how to download it correctly. Follow along as we review the four sections we just created.
I think it came great so let's download it. We'll click on the button in the upper right labeled share. Then we can click on download. You'll see because this is a video we'll be downloading it as an mp4. Okay, so now we can hit download. Okay, so after it downloads click on any white space to close the progress box. Now we can click at the bottom to open it and view it bigger. I think we did a great job. The video is beautiful. When you upload the video to your mobile phone the two dark sections on the right and left will not show. So if you open your files you'll see it's in your downloads folder. You can either rename it or save it somewhere else on your computer. Now get on Canva and try it yourself. Practice and have fun with your new skill. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.